Hey guys, my name is Christian O'Boyle and I'm a voice actor. I'm going to be showing you guys how I use uh, CRM for voiceover and just my process. I know that a lot of uh, voice actors early in their career uh, don't really use CRM. And so it, I find that it's very important to kind of introduce and start using CRM when we're in the earlier stages of our careers, because as we continue building, we're going to start getting more clients and more leads that we need to start keeping track of and how to kind of make sense of it all, who to contact again, who to follow up with, um, just things like that. So I'm just going to be showing you what I'm currently using. Uh, it's called Zoho, which is a uh, budget friendly. Uh, they have a free option that I have been using uh, for a while. So I'm just going to kind of show you my setup and how I use it. And then hopefully you can start integrating it into your business. And then from there, yeah, there are other CRMs that you can use some that are actually dedicated for voiceover, which I might be taking a look at later and might be able to uh, show you guys that, but this is a good budget friendly option for voice actors or any small business to kind of start really getting into organizing their business, keeping track of invoices, keeping track of latest conversations that you've had. Um, so that way you can follow up with those clients with the right information. So I'm going to be showing you my setup. Uh, I'm going to show you how to set up Zoho and then how to set it up the way I use it. And then from there, you can make any tweaks and changes or find other CRMs. Again, I find it very, very useful for keeping track of your business and actually starting because a lot of voice actors are not really thinking that voiceover is a business. Unfortunately, if you want to succeed as a voice actor, you want to be a professional voice actor, it's a business. And so having that mindset, having that set up as a business and start keeping track of your marketing um, will definitely make it a lot easier in the long run when you're five years in or 10 years, because then you have a large list of clients and leads that you need to follow up with. All right, so we're gonna go to zoho.com. Uh, they have a bunch of other options that is more than just CRM. They have CRM, they have invoicing, they have emails and all this stuff. So it is a very good business tool that you can use, again, for your business. So we're just gonna go to CRM right here. So then we're gonna uh, get started. So I'm gonna click on pricing. Now by default, it doesn't show the free option. However, if you scroll down just a little bit and see our complete feature comparison, click on that and look at that, they have a free option, so get started. All right, so now we're just gonna fill out our information and then we're just gonna uh, click sign up. All right, so now we're all logged into Zoho. This is your home screen. Again, this can be changed and uh, modified the way you need to use it. Um, what I'm currently using are the leads contacts, which are actually renamed to clients. And then I actually remove some of these additional information. So I'm gonna actually just move my screen down over here. And then we're gonna click on the tools icon and then click on modules in fields. All right, and then from here, we're gonna actually have some modules and fields that we actually need to kind of adjust what we don't need or what I need, what you need. Again, this is just the way I'm currently using it. It can, again, be modified the way you need it and what you find the best for your business and how you organize things. But I'm just gonna go to organize modules and I'm gonna actually just start removing things that I currently don't use and probably don't see me using um, so I'm just going to remove some of these. So I like to have leads and contacts, which I renamed to clients, um, activities, kind of keeping track of, uh, your activities and then documents sometimes is useful for tracking some of those invoices you've sent or files or audio that you've sent to clients. So we're just going to click save. And then we're again, right here at contacts, I'm going to rename it. I like to say clients and click save. And now it is a little bit more organized the way I like to have it. We're gonna click on leads and then we can change the way we enter in lead information. Um, 
by default, it's pretty, pretty simple. There are some additional things that I feel that I don't need to have at the moment. Maybe later I might find use and therefore I will add it back. So number, employ number of employees, I don't really see that I need fax number. Really, who has a fax? I don't, so I don't need their fax number. Um, and then I'm just gonna kind of continue figuring out uh, what I need as a business and what I don't. Again, annual revenue might be useful for some. I currently don't see a, a, a reason to have it. Um, so again, address information, description, a secondary email. Maybe I might need it later, but at this moment I don't. Um, and then I'm gonna actually go into lead source. I'm gonna edit the lead source. So edit properties right here, because there's different lead sources that you can find your businesses or your, your leads and stuff like that. Um, and then some that I don't currently use. So one of my main things is social media. So I'm gonna actually just enter in some social media options. Um, cold call, I will use, so I'm just gonna keep that. Um, let's see, LinkedIn is very important. I have found many clients on LinkedIn. And then I'm gonna bring this up here above cold call. Uh, external referrals. Mm, so I'm gonna actually say Twitter. Bring that up. I think Twitter above LinkedIn. Instagram, anything else like that. You can add all your social medias that you feel that you find business on. Online store. Again, I don't have an online store, so I'm going to actually say referrals, um, cold calls, cold emails, because sometimes you do cold email. Cold email, I think, is more important in my use. I use more cold emailing in my voiceover than I do in than I do cold calling. Trade shows and conventions. Again, we do go to trade shows and comms, so conventions. Um, again, wherever you want it, you organize it the way you want. And then again, add what you want in terms of where you find your business and then remove anything that you don't think that you're gonna find business. And if you do end up finding business, uh, whoops, I ended up removing the wrong thing. But if you end up do finding business uh, somewhere else, uh, down the line, you can just always add um, another section to keep track. So this is lead source. Um, and then I like to edit the industry because by default, their industry is not what I find. Um, oops. Mark edit properties. Um, the, the default industry is not where I find my, uh, my clients are not in these industries. So I'm going to enter in what I find, uh, most of my clients or leads are going to be in the industry of games, some video games, some animations. So animators, uh, or actually we could say animator if I could spell, um, let's see, explainer videos. video, uh, commercial or advertisement, so ads, and production house. And then again, everything else that they give you as default, I'm just going to go through and remove them because I don't necessarily use these. Doo -doo -doo. All right, and then I'm gonna click done. And again, some of these fields you might find useful later on, maybe not um, modified by, I'm, it's just me using this, so I don't need a modified by, I don't need a created by, because it's me, I'm, I'm creating and modifying it, and lead owner, you can't change. So then we're gonna click save, and there we go. So now we can go back out, and we can go back to modules. Again, we could do something very similar to clients. You can go through, make any changes, 
that you feel will be useful for you keeping track of your clients and stuff like that. So now we can go to leads and currently we don't have any leads. So let's create a, a lead that we might find useful. And I'm just gonna use Tony Weiss. Um, he's my business partner at Immerse Production. So I'm just gonna kind of use him as an example. So company is gonna be Immersed Productions. Um, which is our audio production company where we do demo production, we do audio production for video games and animations, audio dramas, and then we also do casting and directing for, again, video games, audio dramas, and animations. Um, so everything that's kind of audio based in those kind of fields is what we um, focus on. So we're gonna just say Tony and Weiss title. He is the CEO of Immersed Productions and then email. Uh, we're just gonna do team at immersedproductions.com. Phone number, if you have one, enter it. If you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, website is immersedproductions.com. Um, lead status, did you contact them? Contact in the future, kind of where are you at in this lead in terms of kind of, did you lose them? Are you still working on them? Stuff like that. Um, lead source, how did you find them? Again, um, we'll say referral because Tony Weiss uh, was referred to me when I was getting a demo. And that's kind of how we ended up becoming business partners and starting Immerse Productions. Um, industry, uh, production house. Again, you can add Another thing, depending on what you feel that their industry is, maybe you could say audio production. That's why I said production house. And enter in their Twitter if uh, you know what it is, uh, Tony Weiss VA. And then just kind of continue going through and add any additional information that you need. So we're gonna click save. And now we cl uh, created our first lead. You can add a lead image if you'd like. You can add notes, uh, Tony and I are business partners. This is crazy. Whoop. Uh, then you can also attach anything like any conversations you've had. You can take screenshots of conversations of documents that you have if you have any contracts with them. Um, again, if you've sent them any audio and you want to keep track of that audio, you can just attach it to Zoho. Open activities, you can create tasks such as remind me to follow up. So we'll just call it follow up. We'll select a, a day that maybe in two weeks I need to follow up with him right here. Priority, is it high, is it medium, is it low? Again, just depending on how if you really need to contact them or just within two weeks, give or take, you need to follow up with them. And then we're gonna hit save. So then we can find when we go to home that now it actually says every time you log into Zoho that you need to contact Tony Weiss in two weeks right here. And then maybe this lead eventually kind of becomes a client so you do make business with them and stuff like that so you're actually going to click convert and then you can hit convert and then when you go to clients now tony weiss is there with all the information you can again add a change any other information that you see fit um that's really mostly what i use zoho for is just kind of keeping track again if you get into the, the hundreds or the thousands of leads and clients and stuff like that you want to be able to make sure that you're able to remember them find their email um, follow up with them make notes the last time you contact would contacted them and stuff like that zoho does have a bunch of other options and uh, plans that you can do that will allow you to, it'll actually give you automatic reminders of who to contact and stuff like that. Currently, this is just my budget free option that I am currently using. Again, a great source to start using a CRM as a new business and as a voice actor because I know how tight we are in finances. Zoho also does have a, uh, a plugin that you can add to Gmail. 
Um, and then with that plugin, when you're in your email address, if you're emailing someone and you find that they are now a lead, you can actually click on this little button right here, which is your plugin, and then it'll actually pull up a list that you can actually it'll auto fill as much as it can. It'll take their email address, fill in their name, and then you fill in the rest and then just say add lead and then automatically it'll add that lead to Zoho. So that way you don't have to go from your email into Zoho, enter in the information manually. It kind of auto populates as much as you can. You enter in the rest of the information and then add the lead. Very, very useful, especially if you've been in contact with someone for a while. It's great to add them in this aspect, whether they're a client or a lead. Again, I find this very invaluable for any new business wanting to kind of start organizing what they're currently doing. Um, it is a great resource to start making sure you're following up with leads, following up with clients, because if you follow up with a client, yeah, maybe you did their project. Don't follow up with them because you want to do business with them. Literally follow up with them because you're generally interested and you really like working with them, things like that. Just be genuine, follow up with them, see how they're doing, see how the project went, if it's still in process or if it's released. If it's released, maybe you can say, oh my gosh, it was so great. I loved the project. I loved watching it and stuff like that because you never know they might have another project that's coming up that they've been thinking. And hey, now they, they, uh, you just reminded them of who you are now you actually have another opportunity to audition for a project or maybe they already have a character in mind that they think you would fit. Um, it is very important to, to follow up with your leads because those will eventually turn into clients, hopefully. Um, and then clients, uh, they're good. it's very good to follow up with your clients every once in a while, maybe every three, four, five months, give or take. Um, just to kind of remind them of how fun and great it was working with them. Uh, if anything, it's just a great genuine gesture that they enjoyed. And then maybe something will come of it, maybe not. Again, you're not following up because you're gonna get something out of it. You're following up because you're truly interested in them and who they are. And then that will just kill, build a network and a connection of all these um, wonderful contacts and wonderful people um, who are very talented in the industry. So this is just kind of what I'm doing right now um, for my business. And I'm going to probably eventually upgrade. Um, it doesn't offer, the free version doesn't offer everything that I need as a business, but it offers enough. It, it has started me off and eventually I will upgrade and I will have better options and just continue building my business with what works for me. Again, this is a great budget option. This is a great way to start making uh, use of organization. So I hope this helps and I'll talk to you guys later.